Let's create a Maui app. I'm going to call this Maui Snips. I'm going to leave it at .NET 7. And today what we're going to be doing is showing you how to add an app icon and a splash screen to your Maui app. So I'm going to be using my Surface Duo, which I have located here. I'm using the Your Phone or Phone Link application. Surface Duo is running uh, right here beside me, but the screen is being projected um, onto like my computer screen so you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing what I'm doing. Right off the bat, what I'm going to do is just run this application. So it's built and deployed. So let's go ahead and let's see what it looks like on the device. So here's our basic application. And if I swipe over and move this to another screen, you'll see that there is my Maui sound icon, application icon. And of course you couldn't see it, but there is also a splash screen associated with it. So let's close this. Let's run this again without debugging. And you'll see that the splash screen shows there. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the app icon and we're going to change the splash screen so that they use icons that uh, we would like them to use. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it's not as straightforward as one might think. So the easiest way to change the icon, I'll start with the application icon, is you go over to resources and app icon. So I'm going to just copy an icon that I have lying around. So my icon is called sound logo, and it's just a transparent uh, GIF, uh, which just has the symbols there. And these icons, because we're working in, I in Android, they will need to follow the Android specification for naming. So you can't use capital letters and um, you can only use underscores, right? And then, you know, obviously it must be alphanumeric characters for them to work. So I'm going to now open up the project file so you can see what's happening there. And I'm going to go over here to this sound logo file and I'm just going to change it to say Maui icon. So when you do that, you'll notice that it gets added as a Maui icon here. And now there can only be one icon for the application. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. And then because we're using a background call on a transparent image, I'm actually going to specify a background image for this. And you do that by typing color. And you can use uh, the hexadecimal format, or you can just type the name in uh, normally. So I'm specifying color as orange. Let's run this now. And this should have started, so let's go take a look at it. And once again, we'll move this over. And you'll notice that although we've changed the icon, it's still showing uh, the old icons. Uh, so let's fix that. The problem is that whenever you specify the files for Android, you then have to go into the Android uh, manifest file and you have to change it to point to the new name of the file. Right, so let's copy this and you're not going to include the PNG or the file extension. And then we'll just go to platforms, Android, and here's the Android manifest. And you can see here that it has app icon and app icon, app icon round. So I'm just going to specify this value for both of them. And then I'm going to run this. So now when I go over here and look at this guy, move this to the side, you should see the icon uh, that we've specified, the Maui sound icon. But you'll notice something interesting here, which is that it's not scaling properly, right? Even though the icon is created, it's kind of zoomed in. So we can fix that. As well. And we, we, the way we solve this is we can specify 
a foreground scale. And then in here, you specify how you want to scale it. One means the size of the image, the way it's being rendered at the moment. Um, let's go with 0.65. Stop this. And so it'll scale it smaller by almost 50%, uh, by a little bit over 50%. And then let's run this and let's see how this renders. Okay, now that it's rendered, we can move it over once again. And there you have it. And of course, we have to move this over because the Surface Duo is a dual screen device. And as you can see now, uh, that is rendering uh, smaller than it previously did. And we're now able to see the transparent area is being filled with that orange background uh, that we created. The splash screen that we're going to use is essentially going to be the same image that we used in the previous uh, video, um, which is this uh, sound logo. So getting going to create a splash screen, you basically copy that file and put it in the splash folder under um, resources, just put it in splash. So if we go in here and we look in the um, in the project file, you can see that nothing has been added, even though we've created that. Now to get it to work and to show up, we go in here and we need to change it to say, Maui splash screen, let's put that, okay. And once we add that, that gets created here. Now, as with the app icon you can also set a color on it so we can go here and we can specify that this is also going to be orange and then we should be able to run this now and you'll see what happens when we run it so the application has built now when you run and build your application you might notice that it's not building or you're getting errors telling you that certain files are there or not there if that happens, uh, don't fret. For the most part, if it's a file that you know is there and it's related to the app icons or to the splash screen, then what you can do is you can actually uh, clean the solution and then just run the solution again. The file is loaded and right now it's showing as blank, but that's not necessarily the, um, an indication of whether or not the splash screen is showing because what we found is that during debug, that splash screen image will actually not show. The real way to tell is for you to actually stop the application, which I'll do now, and then just run the application again. And as you can see, once you run the application the second time, the not running it in debug mode, the image does show. So do that once again. And that's basically it. So this has been a quick video showing off the capabilities of .NET MAUI, specifically showing how you can enable a splash screen very easily and basically add some more of you to the applications that you built. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy coding and have a blessed day.